Box 2D, the best physics engine for 2D in Godot. It provides a better simulation, performance, and overall physical behavior inside of the Godot engine. Today you will learn how to import it and start using it. Let's start. First of all, in order to actually import Box2D into a brand new project, we'll go to the asset library and here we are going to look for Box2D. Here we are going to be finding it and we simply click on it and then press download. Finally, let's click here install, wait a couple of seconds and it will ask us to restart the without editor. Then once this is done, this is going to indeed be imported inside of the without editor. But we now have to enable this plugin uh, by going to project settings and enabling it. The good thing about Box2D is the fact that it doesn't add any kind of new nodes. It basically just modifies the existing nodes. For example, if we add here some kind of rigid body or if we add some kind of static body, if we add any kind of collision shape or whatever, literally anything that has to do with physics, it isn't that we are going to be having to get used to using any other kinds of new node. Um, it will basically modify the node itself. But well, we are going to be using the same node with the exact same options. Uh, so that is amazing, okay? It directly modifies like the, the root node uh, that Godot provides. Therefore, the way in which you are going to be using Box2D is super simple and straightforward. You basically add the corresponding nodes that you would add with or without this plugin and you are up to start using it. So I actually have created here an example project for us to understand the differences between, is, between using Box2D and the default physics engine inside of Godot. This project contains super simple things. It contains a main script that would instantiate um, every 0.05 seconds, um, five balls, okay, that are these objects over here. They, the only thing that they have is a rigid body 2D. As you can see, no settings have been modified. And the only thing that this rigid body has inside of it is a collision shape. We also have here uh, some walls. And I finally also have some markers, okay, that will determine from which point to which point the balls are going to be uh, instantiated. Lastly, I also have a super simple UI that will display the current FPS and the time that uh, has passed since the game started. Oh, well, this is the script if you want to check it out. As I told you, we will just display the FPS and then we also are displaying the time. This is a super simple setup that, but that will actually help us uh, spot the differences between uh, both uh, systems of physics. Or well, actually between the two physics engines. Now I will start off with Box2D completely disabled and we are going to see what is happening. So uh, first of all, we see that kind of orange circles or actually squares in every single collision that I wasn't able to disable actually. Uh, but well, it seems that it's working, let's say fine. But as soon as we start getting uh, something like 78, 79 seconds uh, inside of um, of the of the game, well, as you can see, this starts lagging and we start getting this behavior in which all the balls literally start dropping out from the static body, as you can see right here, because well, so many objects are causing so much lag and well, the collision isn't able to handle so many objects. Um, and now actually if we check this but with uh, Box2D enabled, what's going to happen is first of all the simulation is just better. The behavior seems like, let's say that it is better simulated. You can actually see this quite simply. It is complicated to explain. But well, the way in which the, the objects interact with each other is a little more realistic, much accurate for, mo for mo most of the behaviors. And actually here we can, we can be with as much time as we want. We can be here for something like 30 seconds and the game will not break in the walls. Okay, of course it's going to lag, of course, with the FPS. Um, 
in terms of performance there is uh, more performance in box 2d because well we were able to play for something like 30 seconds having something close to 10 fps but the most important thing i think um about box 2d is the fact that the physics simulations is just better collisions do work better as well um and also there is some improvements in the performance here where we are 33 seconds in oh well so you can see we can still be playing and when we reach something like 30 seconds is where we start to lose most of the fps and now if we for example disable box 2d and we play again we will compare these results with good out as you can see the simulation is a little bit rougher let's say like the vol falls down and instantly stops moving but in box 2d there is like a better simulation and well right now here you're going to see that when we reach something like 25 26 this is going to start breaking and actually now right here in 25 there we go and we can let's say survive for much less time than in box 2d now of course this has ma many other fe features that could be me worth mentioning um however this add-on right now is unmaintained um they are focusing more on other physics engine that they are created that has more features that probably has a better performance has even better behaviors so it could actually be worth mentioning this add-on as well and creating a video about it um but well it is still quite usable right now the version the thing that says that it is unmaintained means that it will probably not longer receive any kind of update uh, or that maybe with other future good old versions it's not going to work properly but well, we can actually see here quite a similar test that the one that we performed a second ago that as you can see here well this in good old starts to break they start to trespass the wall and as you can see here there is even not one one ball that trespasses the, the the walls and that is amazing um and then actually here also in the uh, in the github repository that i'm going to be leaving down below um it isn't like um explaining lots of other features that uh, this uh, plugin has it doesn't have much customization as i am seeing over here uh so it is quite a simple and a straightforward add-on that is worth for I would say simple 2D projects that basically you want to have better physics simulations and better performance, okay? And also I think that there isn't much problem with the physics to the engine in Godot. Probably it should already have, a, a, it should already be updated with some stuff. This thing with the collisions, the performance could be definitely improved. But the biggest problem with Godot, I think it's 3D. But well, we have already discussed in the channel one solution that came up that maybe is worth mention mentioning that is YOLT. But well, that, that was also mentioned in other video. So I hope that this video has been helpful uh, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.